touch it, you'll never survey it, you'll never study it, you'll never work through it. Then it turns into actions by faith. You see, faith by itself is dead. The Bible says so. Faith without action is dead. It's no value. But faith, if you have genuine faith, check this out. Genuine faith will automatically result in action. In following its direction uh, in our lives. The Bible is the map to heaven. And I can't think of a single greater treasure than eternal life that is offered to me freely by God who loves me that much. Even though, and if you're like me, some people will say, I'm worse than you. God doesn't look at us as being worse. You know that? You ever think about yourself? If you lie, what does that make you? It makes you a liar. Do you know that a liar and a murderer are looked at the same because they both have sin? We each have a blemish that only God can remove. God doesn't say, well, I'm not happy with either one of you, but at least you didn't kill somebody. Then do that. You have darkness in your life and you need to deal with that before you get even near me. You bring it to him. You got to be honest and open about it. Don't, I, I used to pray like this. I hope you all don't pray like this. Don't come to God and say, dear Lord, I pray that you'll forgive me. You know what I did. He does, but that's not an intimate relationship at all. God desires more. Tell me about it. Tell me what you did. What were you feeling? What was going through your mind? What was coursing through your veins? What was your intention? And that's the one that always kills us, isn't it? A lot of times our, our intention is revenge, anger, to get even. How many times do you ever want to get even with somebody? Lots, right? It happens. God can fix that if we're bringing it to him first. Then to address faith, Matthew chapter 17 verse 20 says this, and it's, it's referring to the disciples' ability to uh, rid demons, okay? But it says, he replied, because you have so little faith. Truly I tell you, if you have faith as small as a mustard seed, you can say to this mountain, move from here to there, and it will move. Nothing will be impossible for you. He's talking to his disciples. Why is that relevant? Because what is being said here is that we, I classify myself as one of his disciples. I hope that y'all do too. That just means I'm following Christ. Okay? We're all his disciples. But he refers to the faith the size of a mustard seed. So he is literally telling his disciples, you don't even have that kind of faith. Do you want to know why that's relevant? Because a lot of us doesn't even. Mustard seed, I showed you. <laughs> I need to give you a real picture of a mustard seed. I mean, it's very small. And God says, if you have faith the size of a mustard seed, you could say to this mountain, move from here to there, and it would move. Really makes me question my faith. How much faith do I really have? Right? And what kind of persecution am I going through for my faith? Those are some hard things to deal with. If that doesn't punch you right, right in the sternum right now, I don't know what will. We are too the Lord's disciples. The disciples, I'm sorry. Is the world partially the way that it is because we are lacking the faith today to change it? And not we in this room, we as a whole. But do we have enough of us saying, my God doesn't stand for that? And I truly feel like we do not. But you know what? If we're not dead, he's not done. Amen. Isn't that a positive message? Mm -hmm. They call that, at, at work, they call that the slap and correct, right? Mm -hmm. You tell everybody what they did wrong, and they just kind of love them. It's, good. <laughs> it's not your fault you're terrible at your job. It's good. Mm -hmm. Slap and coach, right? Slap and correct. I don't feel like we're terrible. I just feel like we're out of practice. But I feel like God is calling us like I said earlier, to the quality of a Christian. I don't want you to just believe. I don't want you to just be here on Sunday. I don't want you to just be here Saturday night or Wednesday night. I want you 
to take the Word of God and go live the Word of God. I want you to go make disciples of men. I want you to baptize people, your brothers and your sisters in Christ, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. I would love to wear this baptismal out. Amen. We found out the other day we had a little bit of a leak in the tank because uh, we had the water too hot. We had a baptism we'll probably never forget. But as we went to let water out, we went to we went to dunk the individual and bring him back up for the baptism. <laughs> Weldon was in the back and got soaked too. So we call that a double hit, right? <laughs> but. Lord, let us wear this baptism out. And let us do it for the right reasons. Let us do it for all the right reasons. Conviction doesn't come from me. So if anybody tonight is feeling conviction, it is coming directly from heaven. But if you are feeling a guilt, a shame, or like you just, you just need Jesus, I would strongly urge you tonight to do something about that. Don't let tonight get away from you. Look, the Bible also tells us that as many times as God will call you, the more times that you will reject his calling, the darker your heart will get. You will start to build a bitterness about it. And one day, even when you are called, you will be uncallable. If God is working on you tonight, answer tonight. Don't let that get away from you. Don't let your, your heart start to develop this callous where nobody can reach you anymore. God doesn't want that. And right before we call an invitation tonight, I want, I want you guys to know that are watching and are tuning in on the live, uh, how to reach us. So by Coda Baptist Church, we're located at 4022 Northeast 26th Avenue here in Amarillo, Texas. And the zip here is 7907. So if you want to send us a letter or you decide you want to make this your church that you support, whether you want to do tithes, offerings, that's between you and God, not between me and you. You can call or you can text uh, Pastor Lindell Tisdale. I've got his number here, 575-644-644. 2454, or you can contact me, Kyle Keller, at 806-683-4536. And you can just simply text, if you want to, the words, I want Jesus. Amen. And we can tell you how to do that. Amen. How to make that a very strong reality tonight before you go to bed. So please, don't lose that opportunity. For everyone else, it's that time. God's calling us. He's calling us to respond. And if we won't respond in his house, how can we ever respond outside? Yeah. Listen, Billy Graham, I'd love to listen to him. I know, I know he's gone. I'd also know where he is. Man, he had a way of just reaching people with love. God's love was around that man. And he said this. He said, the reason you respond to invitation is not so everybody can see you come up here and talk to the pastor or whatever's going on. The reason you respond is because when you, when you, when you identify, uh, when you acknowledge Christ physically in front of everybody, when you, when you name him and you say, I'm going to go talk to God real quick. When you do that publicly, God, Jesus talks to God publicly on your behalf. Amen. Isn't that awesome? God has all the awareness of who you are because, of, because he said who you are. But when you denounce Jesus' name publicly, he doesn't bring up your name at all to the Father. He does you basically the way you do him. If you acknowledge him publicly, he acknowledges you publicly. When you denounce him publicly, he does the same. Tonight is an opportunity. If we're not dead, we're not done. If God is calling you, I pray that you'll come and respond to that call.